Okay, so I gave this one a 7.5 out of 10. It just has some scratches, some dings, uh, some finish checking, some wear to the hardware, uh, wear to the binding, some wear to the back, and then it's got two extra strap button holes on the back from the strap button being moved around. Uh, let's check it out. So right off the bat, we can just see uh, quite a bit of tarnish on that gold hardware. And then this is some of our finish checking that I was talking about. Um, let's get in there and check it out some more. You can just see where the binding is all nice and worn. You see this a lot on these old Ibanez artist guitars. And they're just our scratches, uh, dings throughout. So lots of dings, lots of wear to that binding. Some wear going on there. We've got it over here too. It's not a crack or anything like that. It just like I said. See that down there? It's just like I said, it's clear coat checking. Good looking fingerboard on this one. There is no wear on these frets. And the front of the headstock, scratches, ding, it's just your typical wear. Okay, so let's get this flipped over. Back of the guitar, headstock, scratches and dings. Uh, Sir number is G830167. There's your crafted in Japan. No cracks, no breaks, no repairs. Just got some light scratches back there. Okay. And for the rest of the neck. Uh, two extra strap button holes, one right there, one right there from when this guy was kind of moved around. Looks like they were trying to find maybe the right spot for it. And then we've got our wear on the back of the uh, guitar. And we can see, like I said, we've got quite a bit of wear on the back. Most, I mean, it's all kind of concentrated everywhere, but there's quite a bit of it around this area. Uh, cool. Well, there we have it on that one. Uh, 7.5 out of 10. Scratches, dings, uh, finish checking, wear to the gold hardware, uh, wear on the binding, and then wear on the back, and then the two extra strap buttons. Uh, yep, there we have it.